All right, I got it. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Costume Quest 2. Yes, I spent the past three minutes just honking the horn to get that achievement. And no, I will not show that on screen. <laughs> Which is obvious, since I cut right to the point where I got that achievement. Anyway, welcome back. Last time, we discovered that uh, an evil dentist is trying to destroy Halloween. So we've gone to the past to stop him. Anyway, uh, before I explore that town there, uh, there's a couple things I want to do that I missed. Uh, so first, uh, we had that kid. Wait, how much candy do I have? Wait, wait, what was it? Oh, here we go. 390. That's perfect. I only need 200. So uh, we want to invest in that uh, thing that kid had. Also, uh, I completely forgot to get this guy out of the way. I guess I missed him because of the whole uh, music contest thing, but we get another piece of material. Greenish yellow fabric. We just need one more for the new costume. Then we can stop candy corning around. Of course, that means I won't get that achievement, but oh well. I'm not quite a completionist. I'm not Gerard. But that guy is awesome. I don't know how we can complete so many games. Just, jeez. I wouldn't have the patience. Like, if an achievement just is out of my reach, I just say, okay, whatever, I'll move on, because I've got other games to play. <laughs> like, literally, I have, like, over 300 games just on goodoldgames.com. And then that's not even counting the hundreds of games I have in my Steam folder. And I'm still working on them. I'm just on the bees right now on good old games. And, yeah, it's going to be a while. I knew you'd be back. My treasure plan is clear money maker. Is it clear money maker? How much candy do you want to invest? You can't buy land with candy. I have a system to convert candy to money. Just leave the business side to me. If you give me say two hundred candy now, I will pay you back with crazy interest when my project is done. What do you say? Let's do it. Brilliant. This will be enough to get the permits. Just a few more years until I'm old enough to file for them. What? You cheated us. Be patient. You will get your candy back and then some. I keep good books. Alright. I mean, I have some investments myself in stocks, and I just I don't expect any real big earnings from them for a very, very, very long time. But it's okay. And I've gotten like 40% uh, what is that? 40% profit already off of them, but uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see. It's nice to invest, you know, find one good thing and just throw some some money into it and just see what happens. You know, don't depend on that. Don't uh, go broke trying to invest. But, you know, it's a nice little thing where if it pans out, it might pan out pretty well for you. And if not, then oh well. So now, oh yeah, I have this. <laughs> we can go here. Hello. There's a bathroom in this place. I'm going to burst. Oh, just... There's plenty of trees and stuff down there. Just go. Alright, let's see. Go up here. Aha, I see you up there. Rats, I guess this is the end of my detail. Yep, hide and seek kid number five. Just one more to go. And yeah, there is that uh, rope thing there, but we can't use it. Not for a while. And this guy... Uh, right, Shady, how'd you get over here so fast? We got clients all over by you. What do you need? So all he has new is this map, which I'll get. I still don't have the thousand for the brown paint, but I'll get it eventually. So let's get, let's get the French Quarter map. Take care, kids. Somewhere else I can, can't be discreet with you kids hanging around. All right. So what do we have around town? We have more places to trick or treat. Will there be stuff to fight here? There will be. And I do have some new creepy treat cards that I haven't shown off yet, so I'll show them off in this battle. I would have them equipped. I have four more, so I can only show three now and then one in the next one. All right. 
Oh, we have the Acrony Anachronist, which I believe is a new enemy, so there we go. Anyway, Creepy Treat, let's do a uh, splash damage on all attacks. So that'll be nice. That'll, uh, oh, well, it might look hard, but he's soft inside. Oh boy. And then double candy reward. That's a nice one to use. Alright. Block some attacks there. Oh, I hate weak sauce. Anyway, one more here. Stun a minion for three turns. Uh, let's stun this guy. And then let's do some sweet justice. Boom, baby. Dang it. Oh, I like that you just try to poison Reynolds again, so that's fine. So, uh, let's just do a bounce attack. Let's see, will the splash attack count for this guy too? Yes, it will. It counts for everyone. Alright. Oh, they poisoned him too. Crap. Well, that's why I have this. Let's see if this cures poison. I believe it does. Can you leads by example? So it did cure the poison. That is awesome. Sweet. Alright, so I believe what I want to do... Oh, well I was going to attack, try to attack the other guy. Oh, and I hit the thing at the wrong time. That's fine. People can't control what the media says about him. Alright, Mr. Trumpcorn. Uh -huh. Alright, luckily he won't even be hurt by that poison because we've got this guy dead. Before the poison can really do any effects. Alright. So anyway, let me uh, switch on over to a new treat card. Let's see, which one haven't I used yet? This one. Heals the hero by 25% for three turns. Let's uh, replace that one. And I'll show that one off later. The guy books a slab of me because I don't use real shrimp. <laughs> well, that'll do it if this is supposed to be a shrimp cart. It's come because of my guidebook, although it's not on the list of places to avoid. Hey, don't even think about doing a chat and cut. It is said it it was on the list. Sorry, not was not it was in the list of places to avoid. <laughs> don't bother me, I need to focus on my order. Alright, ladies, I'll just leave you to it. And let's do some more trick-or-treating. And what will we get? Another fight! And I'll just show off the uh, last creepy treat card and then we'll uh, just go from there. Yeah, these crony yeah I think these are the regular enemies oh well anyway yeah we still do have some damage on us so let's heal candy corn because he's kind of the tank of the group he needs the healing I'm a main tank myself so I know I know what he needs and why didn't candy corn say quote I don't know but oh well Anyway, yeah, that was that, so uh, I'll just, uh, yeah, skip to the end. Yeah, holy crap, they uh, knocked out both uh, 
the clown and the candy corn, uh, Ren and Reynold. <laughs> so, yeah, those were some tough enemies. Luckily, I have this. Yeah, they were really tough. I need to, uh, get some more levels up soon. Level ups, levels up. I never know what to say about that. Every time I do an RPG, I get caught up on that. Alright, how about this door? Yay! Alright, we're getting close to that thousand candy I need for the uh, new thing. I was choked to death on my beignet. I think I might sue. No, whenever I think of beignets, I think of Gabriel Knight. That's the first time I'd ever heard of a beignet. And I really want to try one. Okay, what's up here? It does not make sense for those two doors to be in those two locations. <laughs> oh, well. Hmm, those are birds in our way. Oh, we can get rid of them, though. I was about to say, I think we need a special costume to get rid of them, which a special costume we'll get can get rid of them, but we can just walk through them, too. Alright. 608 candy. Oh, I can't go back. I have to just drop down. Ooh. With this slow drop. Oh, hello. I guess this hiding spot was over easy to find over easy to find because he's dressed as an egg. Hey, you found all of us. You're good. Here's your prize. This sack should hold a lot of candy. Awesome, this holds way more of the candy than my old paper bag. See, so yeah, just like in the last game, you find all the kids hiding. You get a bigger bag. We get a potato sack. Didn't Marilyn Monroe dress in a potato sack once just to prove that she looks good even in a potato sack? Alright, anyway. Let us knock on this door and see what we find. Hey! Squirrel, what? What are you talking about? Alright. Hello. Not now. I'm watching this kid. He's amazing. Uh, can I talk to him? Nope. He's just going to shoot himself off over and over again. And I'm going to collect a bit more candy here and there. Now, when I see them glowing, it just like calls to me. It calls to me. Alright. What do we have? Yay. Here it comes. And there's our new sack. Oh, we've got a band playing there. Awesome. And, uh, what's behind here? Oh, no! Okay, that's the last house. Anyway, yeah, some good candy corn quotes from that one were Candy corn is silent but deadly. Candy corn has a long shelf life. Candy corn contains less sugar than a raisin. Uh, if candy corn had arms, this would be so over. <laughs> and one of my favorites, candy corn does nothing. Oh, there's also one that says, it's time to look at candy corn. So, yeah, good quotes there. It's the last house. Let's get this ridiculous pile of candy to little bones so we can get to those witches. Hey, what the heck? Oh yeah, I wanted to talk to him. You could kind of see him in the lower corner when I was knocking at that last house, and we've seen him before. That brat face just stole our candy. Hey, come back. That's our ticket home. Oh, we need to follow that kid. And he comes back here, but uh, I want to go back to the French Quarter for a bit. For more stuff. Hey guys, it's him. And he opens up a path for us that wasn't there before. But then he puts a pile of leaves there. And if you remember, piles of leaves are our worst enemy. We cannot get past it. So yeah, we do need to go back here anyway. And uh, we almost have a thousand candy anyway, so that'll be good. Let me uh, heal up here. Because we need it. Yum. Alright, what do you have to say? 
Hey, Spade's a girl's best friend in this muggy weather. There's a song about that. It's... Oh, I forget how it goes. Like, it's from the musical Hairspray. Of course. Anyway, what's going on down here? So, well, these statues just moved just now. Then I realized it was a kid. Amazing. Hello. Who are you supposed to be? Shh, don't make me talk. I'm a statue. Why? People tip good money if I look all statuesque. So you put on a costume and stand still? That's basically what I'm doing right now. Uh, I'm also painted silver and standing on a box with an awesome pose. I'm performing a valuable service. There's no money in your cup. Well, that's, that's because they're going to bank to get more money, probably. And how about you, Mr. Gold? What are you supposed to be? I'm a stone-cold statue. You don't even see my lips move when I said that, right? People tip for this? Just look at the cup. It'll tell you everything you need to know. There's nothing in the cup. Oh, well, that's because I blew their minds. They will come back with tips when their minds have healed. So another kid over there doing the same thing, you know. A silver kid? Huh, if you had a choice between silver and gold, which would you pick? I thought she was made out of platinum. What? Did you see that? No wonder I have, don't have money in my cup. Dang it. Stop, you messed up my pose. Look that, you're ruining the illusion. I'll just sit here and honk my horn. No, that's fine. There's still some stuff I haven't seen around here yet. I leave it till I see a gator. Dude, there are plenty just down that way. I'm real sweaty right now. Gross. Anyway, we have a cool little band playing over here. What's up, Lindsay Sterling? The French court used to be where you could make a name for yourself. Now it's too touristy. Hey, is that clown horn you got there? You trying to make a name for yourself too? Uh, cause we did a harness for this song we're doing. If you could uh, get some of those tourists to come by, we'd let you jam with us. This could be worth some major music cred. Hmm, okay. How about you? Nope. You? If there are witches on the edge of town and what they sell crafts, not you. How about you? Let's see, where are the, uh... I think there are like three people to get. Oh, you don't sell XXXL. Uh, you? Where are all the people that... How about you? You? Seriously, where are all the... Oh, it's wrong button. Whoops. Okay, where are all the people who want to listen to the band? Anyway, oh well. I'll go up here and see what we have. Ooh, a new chest. Costume to a paper mache. Oh, right, we got a new costume. I'm a pterodactyl, so finally, we can get Reynolds out of that costume. So, uh, like I said, once I do this, I will not be able to get the uh, achievement for having candy corn throughout every battle and never unequipping it. So, uh, yeah. Oh, wait, that's not how to do it. Um, how is it done? Where's the button for that? Oh, there it is. Okay. So... Candy Corn, you will now be the clown. I say, Candy Corn, you are now the... No, okay. Fine. I know, okay, yeah. Candy Corn, you're, you're the clown. And by the way, um, if you replace someone's costume, usually it defaults to Candy Corn. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so... I'm still... Yeah, still Candy Corn. You wanna... There we go. Nobody's Candy Corn now. We are all good. So I'll have to show that uh, costume off when, when I can. Uh, might not be getting into another battle for a bit, but we'll see. But yeah, you can blow. Not in that way, you sickos. Oh, it's a jazz club. I've always wanted to go to a jazz club. It just seems like a cool place to be. What are you doing in here? I thought kids hated jazz. 
Music here is good, but I come here for the root beer floats. Yeah, root beer. That's what's in your cup. <laughs> Where this is where Harmonious Mink plays. He's legendary on the sax. Give Jazz more chance uh, bef before I ride off for good. Okay. Okay, you don't happen to know any good horn players, do you? When a regular guy decided to split town with his old lady, left us in a bind. Does the squeaky horn count? Man, I don't care what kind of horn it is if you can play. But obviously you can't, because I never heard of you. You get yourself some music cred and we'll talk. Now give me some quiet. We got a show to get ready for. All right. Hey man, if you want something, you gotta talk to Mink. Are you gonna say the same thing? No, I'll go straight now, kid. I'm off duty. Whatever. Oh, I think I remember what I'm actually supposed to do to get those people to go see the show. But anyway, hello. Trick or treat. Sorry, kids. I ain't got no candy. But if you get yourself a broken boat, I can help you all out. Very specific. I wonder if that will ever come into play. Anyway. What I believe I have to do is honk at people. Oh, then I have to change back to the clown costume. Oh. Ow, my ears. Okay, you don't want that. How about you? Hey, what'd you that for? You can't see me join the crazy kid over here? He's okay, but have you heard authentic French Quarter music before? No, I can't say I have. Is it good? See for yourself, they're about to jam in the square over there. Sounds cultural. Maybe I'll check it out. I do really want to visit New Orleans sometimes. It's like one of my top American destinations that I want to go to. Not you. I, I, that's what I thought. Yeah, she is one. Oh, please. Can't you see him waiting in line? Well, there's some live music starting on the other side of the square. No line. Live music, huh? Tempting, but I really want to try this jumbo shrimp gumbo. I heard this, sh this food court uses fake shrimp. What? I'm allergic to fake shrimp. Would you say this band was again? Allergic to fake shrimp. Okay. And let's uh, try one more. You. Nope. You. You. Oh, hey, I was so entranced by these statue kids. They're cool, but they don't make any sound. Yeah, you're right. They're pretty quiet, I guess. Better, you'd be, be better off taking a free concert over there. Free? That's my favorite kind of music. Now no one is watching these guys. Hmm, let's see. I need my concentration. I'm choosing an act. Got any ideas? Hmm. I know there's something we could do with them a little bit later, but I guess not now. Okay, we're under spectators. Yeah, you did. Wow, we haven't had a crowd like this since ever. There's only three people. Yeah, no, don't get a big head. Okay, you ready to do these horn parts? We, we gotta really be tight if we want to impress this crowd. Motion to you when it's time to honk. Don't mess up. Yeah, we're gonna kill this. Oh, whoops. I did not mean to do that. I pressed the wrong button. Hopefully I didn't, like, mess this thing up. Like, I don't think you can, like, permanently mess this up, but, uh... Hope I don't have to, like, do this again. Oh, nice. I never expected Clown Horde to be the piece, uh, piece we were missing. <laughs> Definitely earn your music credit. I bet word will get around. I bet... <laughs> Got music. Okay, got a music cred. So now let's go back into the jazz club. Mink's place. Say, you ain't that kid I've been hearing about playing a mean clown horn in the streets, are you? Oh, you heard of me. Heard of you? Taurus will shut up about you. You want to gig with us? We got a show starting soon. Pays 50 bucks. 50 bucks sounds cool. I'll get my clown horn ready. Do you think, kid? Oh. oh yeah, I'm totally improving this music. Absolutely. It's for coming, ladies and gents. I'm Harmonious Mink on the sax.
That's my main man, Slim Willy on drums. Check out Big Daddy on bass. The sweet clown horns lines are the one and only red. Make it top, girl. Yes, I'm hitting the button. I am hitting the button, I promise. Just wait for the bubble to go away. Like I'm I am I, I'm hitting the button. And nothing's happening, so I just have to wait, I guess. I don't know, it wouldn't let me do anything, but hopefully that doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, that was some sick horn work there. It's your fifty bucks, you earned it. I sure did, I guess. Thanks, Mr. Minky, it was an honor to play with you guys. Ain't no thing. You sure you don't want to sneak out the back door to avoid the mob? <laughs> Just kidding. There ain't no back door. So, uh, we got money? Oh, we gotta level up. And we're so close to getting that thousand candy, but, uh, that's fine. It's not like I'm really gonna use candy corn anymore, anyway. But I do want to, uh, complete this game, more or less. Besides that one achievement, of course. Anyway, uh... There is that uh, pile of leaves there, but I'm going to ignore that because it was one we saw way back at the beginning. So let's take care of that first. I think like when I first played this game, I completely forgot about it until like the end of the game. So there you go all the way over here. Whoosh. And we got uh, sugar droppings. Ooh, let's uh, equip that. Let's see. Where was that? Seconds. Oh, here we go. Sugar droppings. Yeah. <laughs> we'll replace the tinfoil chews. And I guess I'll show that off next fight. I'll be showing the next fight off anyway, since... Uh, I want to show off the new costume. But anyway, now we need to confront that kid and get our candy back. Whoosh. So yeah, this uh, Teradoctor costume is mandatory, so even though it's like, it seems like it's just a hidden costume you can get. Yeah. Hey kid, give us your candy back. 